So in this video, we'll talk about array of objects. Now what I mean by objects are, so let's say we have a class called as uh, student. And in this class, I have some, let's say I have uh, two variables. One is private, uh, why to go with private, we'll directly go with uh, a variable. We'll go, we'll go for string um, s name and we'll have a uh, string, or not string, maybe int roll number. So let's say have, we have these two details. One is s name and second is roll number. And to assign the value to a constructor, we'll use Okay, we'll, we'll go for insert code. We'll go for a constructor which will take uh, two parameters. And then we'll also go for a method which is two string just to print the value. So I hope you're familiar with the method which is two string. So we'll go for insert code and two string for both the variables. So if you're not familiar with what is two string method, just go to my uh, channel. Uh, you'll, you'll find a method or uh, you'll find a video on two string. So here what we have is, let's say uh, we have the first student as S1 and the values for S1, let's say student. So we can have a student, let's say the first value as uh, Navin and the roll number is 101. Then we have one more student, just we can just copy this code here. And this is uh, student two and name will be, let's say, Mohit and this is two. Let's have one more and we'll say three. And this time we'll have let's say Usha and this is three. So now we have these three names with num with roll numbers. What happens if I print the value? So we'll say S out and let's print the value of S1. Now as soon as I try to print the value of S1 as right click and run. So you can see it's printing a student name and roll number. What happens if I print S2? So if I print or S1, he is here. Let's say copy and paste paste. This is S2 and S3. And if I print all the values, it will print Navin, Mohit and Usha and all those values. Clear? But what's the, what's the use of array? So using array, we can have one object, which is an array, will have uh, all these elements. So how to get an array, we can simply say uh, student. This time we are not going for a one value, we are going for array of values. So we'll have to give a bracket. Uh, we'll say this is students. And we'll say new student. Now what is this? This is just a collection of uh, three values. Okay. Now how to set the value? So we have to say student uh, of zero equals yeah, so do we have uh, three objects now? The, the problem is we don't have three objects. We just have three, we have three reference. So this student is not a collection of objects. This is collection or array of reference. So even if your topic is array of objects, we never have array of objects. We always have array of reference. So here what we need to do is we can assign student, students as zero will be S1. Then we can have a uh, copy, paste, paste. So this is one, oh, this is one, and this is two, this will be two and three. So this is how we create array of uh, students. So basically this is not, this is not array of objects, this is array of reference, and these are your objects, S1, or these are your objects, new, new, new. Cool. So even if you have student type array, you don't have students object, we have student reference array. Okay, now how to print this values? So we can use a for loop, we can use announce for loop here. So we can say student s colon students, uh -oh, students, and then we can print the value of s. So this is also possible when you run this, so you can see we got all the objects. So we are not getting, we are just let's remove this part. So when you say you're getting this output, it's all because of uh, this variables here. Okay, so this is your array. So how to create array of uh, reference? So we have to create a class name, uh, the, the array name, and then we have to say new student. So mind you, once again, this is not array of object, this is array of reference, just to make your point clear, clear? That's from this video, we have talked about array of reference. So thanks for watching.